and then we can go ahead. And Sandra is joining us, who's by the way in the office with me also. Okay, uh, uh, good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to to the rooms and I, I invite everybody to to say what we have done and uh, to actually give experience of what we learned and uh, what we cannot do. So I think this would be the right time for us to to share because uh, now while the technology has bring people together, as long as if we are connected, uh, we can do the same job and uh, when uh, the ideas have been pulled and dropped in the in the pool. So we are a refugees related organizations. Uh, the team is called YEF. YEF stands for Youth and Family Foundations. We actually uh, help young people in the community and uh, more on uh, digital because uh, we actually came to Uganda in 2016 and when we settled in Pagirinya, we hardly have a uh, space and uh, electricity at the same time, internet, more, uh, more was young people do not uh, have access to the internet and uh, materials online. So we think twice uh, and we look into how digital will bring young people together. And uh, we look at the same times, how this digital, digital tech can fight uh, economic activity at the same times, like the peace, at, uh, how do we use tech for addressing issues like a peace? So, we sit down and uh, we feel like uh, since we do not have a space and uh, we ask ourselves, what are we going to do since because we have a uh, co-exist and the refugees and a host community and of which uh, we are also sharing the same uh, natural resources. And we feel like if we do the prototype that will help us not to cut down trees and at the same times uh, to prevent uh, people from cutting trees. So we came up with an idea and uh, we start doing the prototypes uh, where it has done to the space for the young people in uh, Bagrenya. Uh, the house is now uh, one year old, whereby the first thing we do is um, we give a computer training for the young people at the space and uh, we create one of the space as a library for architects and I don't know which it will help the young people to read the book and understand so that they can also do and practice at their various places. So this is what we have. I think um, if Gamma is read, I, I ask him to share for us our presentation so that we go right away. Thank you very much. I'm called Voga William, a team leader. Back to Igama. Uh, thank you so much, Voga uh, William. I've, I've, sort, I've, I've just shared a documentation link to, to the project. I hope everyone can see it in the chat box. My name is Gamma Richard William. I am a software engineer by profession, but in this very project, I worked as a documentation specialist. Uh, just straight away to, to my presentation, I wanted to, to share my screen. Is my screen visible? Yes, it's okay. perfect. Take this opportunity to, to go through the presentation. It's just a few slides. Just like William did introduce with a housing prototype that we have built in Pagrenya, we have we have been calling this prototype as Pagrenya. Light and 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 really just a foundation is he, he said light on that but just really we are South Sudanese refugees led or founded organization supporting local communities in various skilling initiative and providing access to information and engaging the community in peace building and this really had origin because most of these South Sudanese refugees have a background to ethnic conflict and because of that our efforts also sometimes gears towards that. Uh, I, I, over the past years, we have been engaging under the Ask Connect project, which is access to skill and knowledge network. And, and that's really a, a network of, of, of users who are getting together to, to engage in development program. And that program has been by the, the Rock Agency. So currently, we, previously we had engaged in, in the construction of the 
Pangrenia satellite, the housing prototype. And so what is the idea behind the house? Uh, the idea behind the house is to build a satellite or a modular house as a community space where young people can connect, can meet, interact, and receive training, including counseling services, as well as engaging in various range of social and recreational activities. And, and so because our population is young, this house is actually being built by young people within the refugees and the host community. So we, we, we try to interlink these communities together. That is the idea behind the, the, the construction of this modular prototype. So how is the house built or what are the futures of this house that we are talking about? There are two unique futures to this house and we will talk about that shortly. One is a technology which has been for, for a bit century, but we try to, to adopt one or two. It's called the ramp up technology where you, you use locally available materials like maram, clay soil, and very little mix of cement really to, to create wall, unlike the traditional system, which is currently where people use burn bricks and, and environment, environmentally dangerous solution to, to do that. And because COVID also posed a threat to social space over the years, right from 2020, we also introduced the well-ventilated environment where we don't no, no longer use the fan or artificial aeration, but we have adopted to the well-ventilation of this housing prototype. So what are the advantages of this prototype over other buildings that have existed? One key advantage is the environmental conservation aspect of it because we are using uh, ordinary clay other than burn bricks. And, and it, as, as a result, there is thermal regulation because the temperature there is, is a bit controlled. The, the wall is, is very thick and therefore we cannot allow heat to penetrate in easily. So there is that natural thermal regulation. And we also have natural lighting to this house because the, 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 set, the setup of, of, of refugee camp is that you cannot, you cannot have a lot of resources to, to, to venture even into uh, 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 providing light. So we had to put a lot, of, a lot of ventilation, both for air and to allow light go into this. And how do, do we do it? So we, we also have the advantage of this house is it's easily reproducible because we have had an entire documentation team that is focused to, pro, to reproducing a documentation that can help this house to be well uh, reproducing other varieties coupled with other well ventilation futures and, and, and the availability, the, the ability to use locally available material. So these were the futures and, and the advantage of this prototype that we have built. As we can see over here, the, 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 the picture just in the middle, which is called the tunnel there. This is how the, the house really goes. We have the framework on the, on, the, on the right of, on the left of our screen where you set the framework and then the tunnel, you, which is created by the framework is filled. And then there's a bit of filling the framework and ramping that to, to, to bring the concrete strong wall that is thermal uh, regulated. And so this, this was how the, the construction of the house went. And so we can see the wall, the ramp up wall. We try to get one of the early pictures so that we can see how rigid or strong the wall is. So this, this is why we see. So local issues that are addressed as we are trying to construct this is, there was environmental cons conservation because bricks were not being uh, burned. And so trees were not being cut and issues of lumbering and deforestation were totally out because we remember in 20, in, in 20, in, in 2020, actually that was in 2018, when, when the refugees and the host community engaged in conflict because I think the, the, the host communities were seeing that the refugee population are advancing towards their, their forest cover. So they, they, they see a possible danger. And so we came in to, to, to build a house that to show a way to the community that, that these things can be done. And then we also have the thick wall which addresses the temperature issue and the lighting and the aeration with no electricity or something of that sort. That's, that's what we see. And, and just pictorially, this, these are some of, of the way how we, we acquire bricks here in, in, our, in our communities. We have bricks by the pile like that. You, you need over six to seven trips of, 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 of firewood to burn uh, one or 2,000 bricks. So as a result, you'll have the burn brick for you to build a wall like that. So with, it, with, with our technology, 
you wouldn't have to build something like that, but you needed just the clay soil and a little bit of cement and your house is up. And so I will just shortly take you through uh, our approach to, to building of this. Of course, there is the digital media collaboration using the GitHub where we have a team of, a team of workers or a team of specialists. For example, the, the, the people who are concerned in this project Voga William and Ira were directly supervising this, and then we have an international media special uh, architect specialist uh, that that is Peter based in Canada, and we have international media specialist uh, is Stephen Cobert based in Berlin, and the documentation specialist I and and, and Tim Wille, uh, who is in Germany currently. So this is really how how we 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 have had. So on on our right we have our complete architectural overview of what the whole building looks like. So basically this is how we have been able to engage our community and have this prototype. I, I wouldn't want to take much of a time. I really open up for question in case there's any question, but before I will, I will want one over to William in case he has some addition. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. I'll just come uh, closer uh, mention the material uh, that we use for building uh, the house. Uh, the local uh, available material that we use uh, in these uh, prototypes, uh, one is uh, Marams, which uh, it's uh, located where Pagrinya refugee settlement ends. Then we use a clean soil, which is not very far. It is within our locality. Then we use a stone dust that we also get within the district. And uh, all these items make uh, the formations of this house. And uh, we use also a little bit of cement that uh, we we mix together and uh, we we actually use uh, a prop and uh, things that uh, we we did not do much is uh, when it's come for the roofing because uh, there were two things and uh, since we are not uh, technical and we are not architect at the same time we are not engineer the idea is um, we look into how do we bring this uh, engineer uh, architecture together because these are the great people who played a lot of roles when it's come for the act and. Uh, and, and we look into how do we do that if we use the documentations uh, like uh, methodology whereby everybody have a skill can also come in and, uh, and help us. So we actually do this with the local community here in Ipagrinyas and of which I'm, I'm one of them, the team leaders. We really experience a lot in these kinds of a building. At the same time, this will solve uh, community problems uh, because uh, Pagrinya, uh, it has uh, two rain seasons like currently as we speak right now we're in a uh, uh, rain season sometimes uh most of the house we have here is a cluster house that will now uh, will, will 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 actually collapse but we feel like if we do this it will help uh the generation in the future thank you Please go ahead. You have your hand raised. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you for the presentation, Vuga. Super nice, super nice. And I would like to ask how many houses will you be able to build so far? And how many do you plan to build? Uh, thank you very much, Ricardo. And uh... It is a nice question because uh, the first is uh, this, the one we built here in Pagrinya because uh, Pagrinya is a second uh, settlement in Uganda. And uh, we feel with the knowledge we got from uh, uh, this right prototype, we feel like we should go one of the settlement, which is a uh, second, uh, second set, uh, settlement in Uganda, which is the Maji refugee settlements whereby young people and uh, it also, combines ethnics and uh, other tribes in that center. And we feel like uh, what we have built here should not stop here. We should extend to other settlements so that uh, those young people, uh, those uh, young people who have uh, talents were not discovered will also benefit from this. And at the same time, they'll also get uh, in a good way to the same thing what we have done here and they will have also space to, to do like what we do here in Pagirinya. That's what we intend to do. Uh, thank, thank you so much, Voga. Before I just give over to, to Richard, maybe to have a second question. Part of our strategic plan is really to have a network of, 
of, of this hub space within the refugee settlement within, within our, our jurisdiction in a Germany district where young people can come together. And so currently we have just built one refugee, one, one, one of these houses in Pagrenia refugee settlement. So we are looking forward to, to extending this to other settlements, just like Vuga did mention. But of course we have we have a few settlements in Germany that we, we directly have our activities. So as, as we do our expansion to most of these refugee settlements, we will need houses in all these places just to act as an open space for youth to connect together. And so our current, 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 current challenge really is how, how can we be able to, to, to reproduce because we have the technical know-how now because we have prototyped this and we have the skill. I think currently is is how do we get support and, and, and to see that we advance this to, to other settlement? And that's really what we, we, are, we, we are saying. Thank you. Super nice, Gurma. Thank you. Uh, there are quite few different initiatives uh, here in Brazil most of them related to permaculture on communities building and houses and sharing how they build and this this kind of thing uh and i will try to get some of these links to share with you during during the rest of the day but uh i believe sometimes they have support some groups have support from the united nations habitat program you know uh and maybe it's it's a place where you can find some resource to build more houses, you know, especially if they are community house that goes to a community use, you know, so it's more than just living, but it's living together. So super, super nice project. Okay. Uh, can you give me time to like uh, two minutes? I take, uh, I move around the space so that you see how it look like from interior and then uh, outside. Will this work? Amazing. That Amazing. Okay, uh, this, is, uh, this is the outside part. But we are not yet seeing. Yes, we, we are just seeing your cupboard in the library. I think if you want, you should be turning on the other camera, like the other account camera where you signed in, right? Well, maybe you can connect with the mobile phone. I think yeah. he left the house already. Yeah, he left it. Not... <laughs> Don't leave us now. <laughs> OK, it's OK. I tried to use another phone, but it doesn't. Can you try to open the camera from the other uh, accounts you signed in? Maybe this is what's missing. One minute. You open the link from the tablet in your hand. And you were already connected to the room. So, yay, I want to see the house. <laughs> Maybe in the meantime, um, hey, Sandra here from Berlin. Um, I can ask something about um, how the communities um, in the uh, refugee settlement have been involved in the creation. Um, how did you do that? Uh, thank you so much, Sandra, for, for that nice question. I think is 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 something community involvement in owning some of this project is key to its sustainability, and how we involve the community is is in a number of ways. First of all, the the, the we we as the refugee, for example, our, our operations we, we used to have our head office in in a Germany town. That's where we do our operation from. But when we came with the idea to the community, the community decided to offer for us the land. And that's, that's one of the, the, the key participation they, they did, and that is in collaboration with, with the office of the OPM. And then secondly, the local resource that we have used in, in, in building this, for example, the clay and, and, and a lot of this, we have the young people 
that are involved. We, we will only offer transport to, for ferrying this, but the young people are coming together to load this thing into the, into the in collecting these resources and loading them into the transport that we have provided. This was how they were participating. And then the, 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 the labor aspect of it, for example, it, it just let me, I share my screen again one more, just to show you how, how active the young people were involved in the, in, in the whole presentation in the whole construction. For example, uh, in this second picture, you see over here, all these are, the, the, only, the only person involved that is part of the, the engineering team is, is the, the other guy in red, but the rest of these are community members who have just joined to, 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 to give a support to the engineering team. So labor, resource mobilization, uh, and, and learn how, was how the community was involved in the construction of this. Voga, do you want to add something? Yeah, uh, the only thing is uh, in the refugees, uh, the first thing to, to own the land is uh, when we write a letter to OPMs and uh, I was sent up to Kampala and uh, write proposal a little bit, what are we going to do on the lands and for what and for how long. So when we profile all this and uh, they were, we were sent back to the local communities authority, uh, that's the host community, so they have given for us a space, and uh, that's the sensibility. And um, when we start doing uh, this prototype, it, it was uh, funny for young people because it's, uh, it is unique, because uh, it doesn't need the bricks, and uh, most of the young people, they were with us, and uh, they feel real to learn these things so that they can also use and uh, see how the future is going to be for this uh, prototype. I think uh, it community are willingly and uh, they're really hungry to learn uh, the, the new skill scenes because it is in the settlements and uh, the settlement was occupied uh, most of the young people from the age of uh, 17 up to 35 and uh, these are the people who are reluctant at homes uh, they have nothing to do and any activity they look that's an opportunity for them to to acquire new skills uh, thank you Sandra I hope we have answered you yeah, wonderfully. Thank you. And I have one, one more question about um, what is now needed to, to build more of um, these houses after the first prototype? Are you, I don't know, adjusting things? Did you learn uh, that some things need to be built differently? Or can you um, go ahead with the next house? Or what's your, what's your next steps? Well, thank you for, for that question. Just like we did say, the first the first was a prototype, and and to be honest, we have we have had lessons that we have learned during the construction of the prototype, and and that's because our our architect was based in Canada, and the engineering team in Uganda with, with some international documentation team, and so our first challenge there was having to have the resources responsible for reference, but now we have these resources. What do we need in, in order to go to go forward? And and really, at, at our end, we have the labor available. We have the material available. So what challenges us as an organization or as a young youth-led organization is is the transportation of this of this material. And then number two, the the, the finance around this because really we we have had to, we have talked about a little semen. That, that is involved in this. So that cement thing and, and the roofing bit of it, uh, that the finance around that has, has been really a core challenge, but now we have the skill and we have, we have the resources available transporting this and, and a little finance in getting what might require some costs is, 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 our, is our next move. So we're looking forward to if we can, we can have some partnership with, with people of like-minded who wants to see community space community friendly space for young people to to bring the best potential to to serve the world i think that's really what we are, we're looking forward to hope those partnership are, uh, is in our reach Voga, over to you uh, uh, thank you very much and, uh, and one more thing we feel like uh, uh, any willing person will really help us to to do uh, the documentation parts of course uh, the, the github it, 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 it's like a new software to us most of the young people and uh, more so we are few in the settlement who can use it. And at the same time, uh, we have a uh, little bit of challenges in uh, documentation. Documentation goes with the clear pictures. I mean, if we need to do documentation that we can sell online and uh, people will understand like 
taking a picture like a 3D type and uh, at the same time understandings of all the sorts of uh, camera trick. If our teens are uh, few will be mentored into that at the same time to, to get weight of using all these tools at the same time and uh, documentations that will really help us because uh, I remember us, Igama, we, we really struggle a lot. If I'm not around, you're not around, it is hard for other can use even the camera we have so that we still have a lot of things to do. Maybe uh, since we have the space here and these are the reasons we create the space and uh, we need to give these skills. And if you want to build a house, these are the steps uh, you need to do. And those need a documentation and we need to, like, to give a training for other young people who are willing to acquire some other skill like a documentation get out at the same time as uh, a camera tricks and, then, and so that so that it will help every community will have uh, access to do that so one will even come out of his own her own story so that through picture you know picture also tell a lot of story because i feel somewhere most of our picture we took it is uh one side ankle maybe some stuff like that so we look into as uh, we are going to do this we need to prepare ourselves and get some other young people on the board with the new to get all uh, the skills and what we have learned so that uh, it will help us easier to do more work and to do partnerships with other organizations who are also see that what we are doing is a uh, great because uh, this house itself for me it also help in uh, climate change because uh, we also participated it's only that we do a lot of work here and uh, this prototype, it is, I think it is only first ever in refugee settlement built in Uganda, but it is sound only here. And as we are few, there's no article that has been written about it because I cannot be good in writing article. Maybe if other people somewhere, they're okay and they have to understand the pictures then so that uh, if we have articles on what we are doing, I think it will have a, uh, impact and more people will see yeah there's a great work doing in Pagrinya not only here so that everybody will know thank you hope you answered Sandra yes wonderfully thank you okay I hope thank we you. we as geek can contribute uh, to some of this uh, as well and uh, collaborate further it would be wonderful yeah we are still open to answer more questions Would you manage, Fuga, to uh, show us using your laptop, or is it hard, or maybe well, the phone does not work? You're muted, Fuga. Hey, Gamma, thank you very much. Uh, this is the inside rooms. It is a cycle house, and we turn it as a, our office place at the same time, the library we have. And when you come outside this the space where youth normally comes and uh, learn, this is one of the, our lady, she's a comedian. And if I go outside, this is how the house looks like. Yeah, are you seeing the house? Yes. Yeah, this is how the, the house. We are, we are not seeing like. the roof. The roof, you cannot see it unless uh -huh. I have. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fine now. Yeah. Yeah, alongside, uh, we are just opposite to uh, LWF where we normally receive our food ratios. And next to us is uh, this uh, UNSERA uh, building their house using uh, bricks. And this is something uh, we really need to fight hard so that to do advocacy, people should stop burning bricks. And this is the idea we created this space. Well, I have a question. Uh, yes. Why did you build a rounded house inside a square house? You know, it's <laughs> why you choose for this layout. I like it too okay. much. It's just new for me. <laughs> it's a new for you, right? Uh, beautiful. 
we build this because we don't want to use AC. And uh, when we build this, you know, when it is a hot, it's normally cool the temperatures and third house, which is normal cool, this is traditional house. So we don't want to run away from the traditional house so that uh, communities will adopt and uh, they can unable to build. Amazing, amazing. And the rooftop of the square house, what is it made of? Because the rounded house is made of... Uh, it's, uh, it's made of... Uh, it's made of... Uh, it's made of uh, iron bar. Mm. That's how it looked like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see. So and up there, go. Yeah, up there to where we left it open so that it allowed light, natural light. Then if you come closer and then you go to the second room, this where it act like our office. And then outside the square, this is the space where normally young people come and learn, and this is where we give training for them. It's a open space. Oh, well, super, super nice. Yeah, super and really nice, huge. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> From the pictures, I imagined it uh, smaller yeah. somehow. <laughs> These are the activity we did sometimes back. Uh, we normally keep the banner up, and we still feel like. Uh, because these are the types of uh, table we have, and we also make it local here with the uh, material that we have used for rampering, then we turn it into the table. So we feel like uh, if we can do the painting inside so that we should put uh, chairs that will be comfortable for uh, students when we uh, give in training to them, I think it will be amazing and uh, that's our dream so that we can fill this space so that it will be like, yeah, when you are inside, you feel it, then you will learn and you go with the memory always, yeah. And maybe oh, one more question around this. Yeah, uh, yeah, were you yeah, able sure. to build the roundhouse with the same technique? Uh, the material it, or is it different? It, it's it's easier to build to build a round house with the same technique, but I think we have had a limitation in terms of in terms Resources. of uh, how how to how to arrange this board because we are using a bit uh, the harder board that cannot easily be cut. So we we we, we currently don't didn't use the, uh, the, the 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 same techniques. We use what is being used locally though. Yeah, this is our cell for the group. And uh, we, use the, we use the solar and uh, we installed it up so that it will help us uh, 24 hours. We have a power and uh, yeah, this is what we can give to our community. Uh, it is possible to your questions. I don't know who, asked, uh, who raised the questions. And there's a way uh, for the house, round house, when I go through, uh, that will be like, uh, you get a mental, then you cough, so that it will be, um, after when you work, you can remove and then extend to, unless it will be designed in, in that way, it will, it will be possible. Sandra, you answered? Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes, Richard. Any other question? I just like very much, very, very much congratulations, you know, how this initiative in biohouse and bioconstruction is super important nowadays and you were using an actual building, you know, for your day by day of biological nice building, uh, 
climate change responsible building for your daily activity. So congratulations for that. Um, I have a question actually. Uh, in terms, I'm, I'm, my knowledge in the engineering and architecture world is very, very limited. So I, I was wondering with um, the style of documentation and how you're documenting for the house, um, what do you think would be the things that need like is it very specific to the environment of North Uganda the kind of soil that you're using and and what what would it take in your opinion for others to replicate that prototype in different environments let's say in Egypt or in Philippines Egypt probably has a similar environment somehow but um yeah have you thought about this have what could be the challenges based Okay, uh, thank, thank you so much for, for, for that question. Of course, uh, a, a lot of this local material as we have been presenting is, is, is really the gift of nature. For example, clay soil is, is, is a hope in, in every part of, part of the world. Of course, we haven't traveled that much. And, and uh, what, what happens is really uh, uh, limitations are, are, are long resources is, is really something that we, we don't see as a challenge because soil is, is in every part of the world. What, what we are really seeing in, in terms of challenges is, is, is maybe the, the, the kind of, the, the, kind of the, the, the weather that, that might be in those places. For example, uh, to, to, have, to have a lot of openings in, 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 a, very, in a very windy environment. Will, 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 will pose a threat to, to the structure because you will have the, the, the opening letting air in. And if it's not fine, it, it can pose a challenge. And we also see, we, we also see that uh, the, 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 the construction can be, the, can be easily done in any places. For example, it will actually favor places like, like Egypt, which, which, is a, which has a very high temperature. For example, because this, this technology is, is thermal proving in a way that it improves out the heat. To me, I, I really see one one challenge maybe in terms of in terms of uh, of, of 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 the weather or the the, the 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 nature of the place. But the rest of these factors are concerned. And 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 Peter is I think Ricardo Peter has been able to advise us. For example, if if it's in other places. It is just a, in terms of a matter of alignment. So to me, I think the whole the whole challenge of not being able to do this construction in a particular place is is, is not really a major challenge. But this this material this these houses are easily producible in in any part of the world because we have had follow documentation and 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 references from other part of the world. This house is is in West Africa, for example, places like Ghana. This these skills have been adopted. That's, that's in Africa, but we also remember somewhere around China, this, this same thing is happening. Europe, I think, I can't remember the country exactly, but we see those spotted around the world, this thing is happening, though that proves somehow that it's, it's doable, despite the challenges, maybe in terms of the direction of wind and all that. To me, I think it's doable, just the challenges of, of how the, the, the engineering team on ground is able to align the direction of wind and, and a number of those configured factors. Thank you. Yeah, it's super nice. And from the experience I have of just knowing some groups here in Brazil is that uh, depending on the soil you have, you can have different mixtures to make mm -hmm. it hard, you know, uh, to avoid bugs living inside and this kind of thing. So I, I do agree with you, you know, and maybe uh, I noticed that uh, the piece of the, the the modular stuff you are using to fill of sand, you know, to make the walls, uh, it can also be somehow smaller so people can do it faster in a way, you know, and easier. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you have two small modes with people doing at the same time, maybe. But I, I really think it's super, super nice idea, you know. And I do agree with this challenge that you pose, for example, some place you cannot have an open house with computers inside or anything before we go there and still things, you know, but there's, there are always solutions for these and I need a solution for this dog. And 
I think I lost the connection. Man. Hello? We hear yeah, you. You're back. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I think the main the main idea is to build the, the walls quite quickly the way you are doing, you know? Sustainable. So I believe it can be implemented in many places. Amazing. So do we have more questions for Gamma or VUCA? Would you like, any of you would like to add something? Okay, uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, I was uh, looking to weigh um, what we have done here uh, as refugees, and uh, I'm looking more into into the sensibility and uh, how many will the team reach to other community that will also be able to reproduce this kind of the house could be like other implementing partner or individuals so that we may learn this is because uh, this would be one way in South Sudan. I was some years back and uh, I feel like uh, this is something that will uh, be uh, educational ways and of which is we ask more partners so that we can do, uh, redo the documentations again or as we do the same ways like what we did, it should be so that should be uh, easier one can understand even if he or she read online. So that uh, we are looking forward uh, at least to, to do more so that to educate others. And uh, the good part of this, it is not uh, causing effectives. It, it will be easier to do it by yourself and do it by others so that uh, and the most important thing is uh, how do we put all these things online and where everybody will have access and, and of which good enough we are in and uh, we applied for gigs as a membership and I, I myself, I applied as a, a, a local community. So to we feel uh, this will go to the right people and more people will see what we have done and uh, so that it can be also duplicate somewhere where others can use. So I'm looking in that way, not just because uh, we have built a house. If we don't talk about it, it will be just a house. So nobody really knows how it has been done, how it will cause then. So uh, I'm looking that way. As at uh, our challenges, we talk more uh, about it, like uh, resources and at the same time, the tools that we use. And some of the things uh, we need to say that how we can improve on it so that it will, it will speed times, so not like to take a whole year like what we did. Thank you. Uh, just just to add a small thing on what Ruga said, uh, our idea is not just to have this as a house and, and, and does it, but it's just to have it as, as a center for, 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 for young people to reconnect meet, just like we did say earlier on. But uh, our uh, challenge on ground, as we can see behind Voga, the book self is almost empty and, and young people do come on ground. Uh, it, 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 it's actually posing a challenge to us. For example, people who come and, and want to learn uh, reading skills, people who want to learn computer literacy and, and most of this in demand social aspect, we, we realize we have the space that is big enough to accommodate everybody but inside the house, we needed support in terms of how to put this house really as, as a, a major youth center, for example, in a way that we can, we can have computers in these places, we can have a lot of things that can be engaging for the young people. For example, that's, that's really one thing that we, we, we're looking forward to. I, I earlier on say on the demand, the, 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 the plan to extend this construction, but also the demand to make this house as attractive inside because of the content it has is, is also another another bit of it because let's say people don't just get attracted for the house but the content of the house as well 
uh, that's that's also another thing that we are looking forward to and and i know you all can be can be our ambassadors or our allies in, in our partners in, in in lifting up this voice so that we can have this house as, as a center for, for empowering young people. For example, we, we have had a, a recent project about the tech bootcamp where we train young children about, about coding, for example. And, and a few, of, a few of, of, of the young people we have trained are now undergoing a, a, a mentorship program on digital documentation. And those, those, those are the trajectories we wanted to move in a way that now we have a lot of young people who get skill on ground and 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 they're able to do things that that they are being done in the rest of the part of the world so that's really a very important cry that we have currently if the house can be put spice up in terms of what is inside i think it will be great super nice Gamo. super nice for sure it's a there are many ways to connect you know and to have more content for the lab and regarding what Yuga said and uh, or how to promote it and how to show it better and this thing. Uh, have you ever seen these channels? There are different channels on YouTube where some people build their houses in the woods, you know? Uh, they are most made by Indonesians doing like bamboos, houses, and then covering mood, this kind of thing. Uh, the nice thing about it, despite the brilliant house they made but the nice the nice thing about it is that they have this youtube channel that is a no language channel you you have no voices instead of people working and building the house and creating the house you know so i think it's it's interesting the way the internet is using to showcase how to build house you know echo houses and this kind of thing i can share one of the videos here but there are many, many different channels, you know? I will share just one here. And it can be, can be also an option, you know? And from, and it can become a media, a media blockbuster, you know? Just this channel I'm sending you, they have 2 million subscribers, you know? And, and they, their videos building house, just let me see. Yeah, 7,000 million views, 190,000 million views. So you see, it can also be, can also be both, you know, house building can be media content too. Yeah, thank you, Ricardo. About 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 that, I think is a very good uh, perspective. We have, since we have had all the documentation, we can can begin to put this 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 documentation together and and try to put them into video content and, and have uploaded to our YouTube channel, and and we we share this. Thank you. Maybe adding to this um there's also a documentation platform apropedia i think that would be very appropriate uh, for your documentation as well um, where you also find uh, lots of other projects um, that yeah create appropriate technology um, for local contexts so maybe that's helpful Thank you, Sandra. We'll look over to that. I've actually opened the, uh, the Prophedian and I see a nice, nice documentation project over here. Thank you so much. Wow, about 10,268 content. Amazing. Thanks, Sandra, for sharing. Um, I feel that we're coming to the end of our session, unless anyone wants to add anything. Wally, do you have anything to add? First of all, it's good to have you. Thank you for being here today as well. Ellie, do you have anything you want to add? No, thank you. Uh, thanks for sharing. This was very insightful. I've been watching a lot of uh, videos as well, familiar with uh, uh, things like the Earthshift.
project and uh, harmed earth. I think there was a ramped earth project in the Philippines as well. So this is pretty interesting for me to see how it's up applied. Thank you for sharing this. Welcome. Okay, so thank you so much, Fuga and Gamma. This has been lovely. Um, we will be um, uploading the recorded vi video on our YouTube channel and sending it back to our network, who uh, usually come back to see these videos. So it's very nice that we have this now also as a resource of you speaking and introducing the project. Um, and please send me the link to the presentation or the presentation itself so can I can also send it in our follow-up email. But other than that, thank you so much. It's been really inspiring. It's been great. And we look forward to see you more in our events very soon. Yeah, thank you very much for every time. And I really appreciate uh, it has been a long way that uh, we can share our ideas and experience that we had here. So uh, this one step ahead and uh, I'll always be appreciate to, to share more and attend other sections as well. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.